Yes, you can build your own assistant that can help you with the voiceovers of your masterclasses, presentations, and video tutorials. So I want to show you how you can use Murph AI, which you can find it in Canva, to help you with that. First thing you're gonna do, go to Canva. After that, go to Apps, click there. As soon as you do, you're going to look for one that's called Murph AI. Click over there. When you click, you're going to see create voiceovers for your presentations. After that, you have two options, or use an existing presentation or create one from scratch. So I already have one I'm gonna create with an existing presentation. Click over there, and then Murph is going to connect to your Canva. To finish that connection, you gotta choose which email you want to so, it's, so it lines up to your Canva. Do that, and now let's go to the second. So now we are in the second part, which is setting everything up from the language, the voice, the style, everything that you need. So the first thing is select the language that you want your voice over to be. So you can go from English to Spanish to Turkish, whatever that you want. After that, it's time to select the voice, your AI avatar's voice. So you're gonna see different styles, but you're going to notice that some of them have a lock beside them. That means that because right now I'm showing you this tutorial with the free version of Murph AI, if you want to not have those locks, you have to make the investment to have the paid version. So once you do that and you select the one that you want, I selected Nate, then I have to enter the text that I want this AI avatar called Nate to share, to say for my masterclass. So I just copy and paste the text and put it right over there. After that, it's time to choose a style, which means emotional, happy, angry, educational, whatever that you want, choose the one that you want. After you do that, now you have the option of selecting if you have a higher pitch, lower pitch, faster, slower, you decide. With this, I mean that you, anyone can choose any type of avatar, but if the style is different, it will be completely different one from another. I chose Nate, but if you choose Nate and you put the pitch lower or higher, or you put him angry, it will be completely different. We're building our own A avatar, okay? Then after that, you play it, you see if you like it, and after that, you add it to your design. Become the authority in your space. Okay, great. We're in the third step. I already added the voice over to the first page of my presentation. And as I played it for you, it sounds great as I want it to sound. Now, if you want to keep changing, you can. You can just go back to style. You can change the voice. However you want to, you are free to do it because you're building the voice over that you want. And if you want to continue to put in the same voice over style, for all your presentation, all you gotta do is change the text and that's it. So my intention with this video is to show you that now with AI, with Murph AI, you have the ability of creating your own voiceover for your masterclasses, presentations, video tutorials. As entrepreneurs, business owners, we have a lot of things to do, but if we can get some help with AI, this will save us so much time. So I hope this helps you. If you have any more questions about AI, about content creation, about personal branding, I'm right here for you. I just want to make your life easier by learning how to use AI for your personal brand, for your presentations, for your content creation. All the best for you. Thank you for watching.